I got to the book section before Janine did and I found two goosebumps. But these look newer. She'll definitely know what these are from, but um, yeah, they definitely look newer, but they're still cool. I'll have to show her. Casper comic behind there, but I don't know, it's $5.99 or something. Uh, I just don't know. What'd you find? I found some goosebumps for you. I Ooh. think they're a little bit newer, but yeah. Let's look. Did you see the year? No, I didn't look. 93. 2015. Uh, this one's reprinted. Oh, that's cool. Different covers. Let's get invisible. Yeah, I have that one. Mm. I don't know if I have that one. What did you find here? Um, so if you would hold those. A cute little blue and like a pound oh, puppy that's cute. Like, look. Yeah, oh. I thought it was really cute. I and want that for blue, my so car. That's what I was thinking. Were you, yeah. actually? And look. Oh, Jeffrey. Baby from, Jeffrey. From Toys R Us. And then. Oh, it's real cute. Yeah. It's like a major Janine stuffed animal. <laughs> He's on a rainbow. Yeah, he's. I'm not skiing. I'm skying. <laughs> That's cute. Look, Janine. Twenty dollars. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at his little face. Twenty-five percent off. Look at his face. <laughs> turtles. That's actually really cute. It, it like is, right? Yeah. Like it. 1988. That's really cute. Why do I want it and why do I want to use it? Is that wild? Look. What? I'm going to get the Casper comic. Oh, what made you decide to get it? It's in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. And I looked on eBay and there was only like two listed. And they were like $4 plus $4 shipping. So there you go. this being 25% off, I think it's a good deal. Look at that. But um, also, it's always fun to find like Casper in the wild. Yeah. So that's another thing. It's like... Would I buy this on eBay? I don't know if I'd search this one out, but finding it in the wild. No shipping, just exactly instant gratification. <laughs> but um, we stumbled upon this yeah. vintage um, Disney Flat? Lion King. It's the whole set. It's got oh, the fitted right there. Oh, nice. Yep. That's fun. Cool. cool. Is this? Yeah, this so is we, Annie. We've got Annie for $25. Wow. But I've never seen that. No, that's really cool. Although, I don't know what's going... Is she... Are her eyes closed? I don't know. I don't really like that. Oh, I think they are. I think... See, like, over here? No. Yeah, like, her, she's, her eyes are, like... Oh, they're always, like... They're, like, closed, you know? Yeah. But I love this pound puppies. The pound puppy oh, Stop. So cute. Super worn in. Um, and it, it's only $8, though. And it's 50% off. Don't give me an excuse to get this, though. Janine said there's one in the end she wants to see. I think I see which one she wants to see. Is it this one, Janine? Yes. What is this? It's clown? A Bozo. Bozo the Clown? Yeah, Bozo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yep, yep, there he is. Very cool. It's got this, like, pom-pom edging. It's $25. Scoops. But there's three here. But which... Oh. Okay, okay so wait. Let's look at Starting scoops. with Scoops. It's worn in, but it's forty dollars, Yeah. Fifty percent off. True. Fifty percent off. Look at those off. colors, though. Mm -hmm. Like so. Nineties, right? Love that. The and next then one. Snow oh, White. Snow White. Look at that. She's cute. Also and next, forty. I think it's also Snow White. Snow White. Right. Yep. The yep. Seven. Yep. Dwarfs. That was only seven dollars, but it's like really pilled yeah, it's up. Yeah, really pilled. But if you took what, like um, one of those pill removers, mm -hmm. you could probably clean it up. You could probably clean it up. Yeah. I really like the Scooby one. Yeah. Right. That's so fun. fun. That's so cool. With all that embroidery, you don't think that that's like? No, I love it. I picked it up. Fun for to you. wear. Balloon Fiesta. Huh? <laughs> I think this hat's really cool. It's got tons of colors in it, and this is like perfect. It's super detailed. Like, look at that. Yeah, it's all embroidered. It's only three dollars too, which is quite a steal really for good, hats yeah. at this. Um, let's just say flea market. Where are we? 
a thrift store. <laughs> Maybe people aren't um, as into hot air balloons as, <laughs> as you are, as, as we are. <laughs> Snoopy, co snow Snoopy snow cone machine. I used to make snow cones out of one of those. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I never had one, but I always wanted one. Oh, really? Yeah. Now's your opportunity. I know, it's only $4. <laughs> Vintage Scooby. Yeah. Oh no! Do we know who he is. <gasps> He's a window cleaning Garfield for Christmas. Let's see the tag. Who is he made yeah, by? Help. Anything? 1981. Oh, Dakin. Oh, the cute ones. Oh, he is pretty cute. He's pretty beat up though. We found Garfield at the same time I found a Scoobs for seven dollars. Cartoon Network. Probably from like 2001, if I had to guess cute. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, no. It's like old shampoo or bubble bath. Oh, bag. yeah, remember those? Um, but, you know, I don't have much luck with Power Ranger stuff. It doesn't seem like it's, like, super valuable. Doesn't um, sell too well? At least, like, the figures and stuff. Like, I don't know about something like this, but some of, the, like, the older figures, I guess they're just very common. Mm. Janine also spotted some 4th of July die cuts in this bag. And it's only 99 cents, which is quite a steal for die cuts. But we don't really do 4th of July, do we? Do we decorate? We no, put something on our door, but... Not. No, I don't no, think that's... Like, no, it's like a feather. A skeleton. She thought this was maybe a skeleton hand. I could see that. <laughs> Janine. Yeah. Do you see it? slowly starting to see pumpkin pails on the shelves. This one is not marked, but likely from the 90s. It's got a nice, thick powder. The newer ones are much, much, much thinner. Um, these are really the last of their kind to be thick, high quality, made in USA. Um, although you'll find some pumpkin pails made in like the USA from Walmart nowadays, but they're just not this quality anymore. Um, square teeth are usually harder to find than the pointy teeth. This is like, you know, a $10 pail, but they're super, super common. So a little harder to resell if you are interested in reselling, but still always fun to see a pail because you guys, if you've been watching us, you know what we say here. No pumpkin left behind. This Isn't is that Target the one you wanted, wanted last year? I Target last year. Oh, and how now funny. It's 299. Is it on? It's 25% it's off. Well, I'm not gonna get it. Oh, okay. But if you want something, you just wait. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they have a lot of Christmas out too. They're Mexican fighting. But I'm not seeing anything too much older. This is a jemmy. A jemmy. A jemmy little chipmunk. Animated chipmunk. Or... He needs new batteries. Oh, I can't. Oh no. Oh, I'm getting nothing. Getting nothing. <laughs> Is he supposed to move? He might. Maybe. He might eventually. Oh, he's trying to. You see that? He's probably a little... Needs some fresh batteries. Needs some batteries. He's cute, though. Um, does it have a year lore? Mm, let's see. Looks like he is from 09. From Target. From Target. Cute. Look at that. It's a fun find. A viewer of our channel has... Um, Silas. Silas has, has gotten... Uh, gotten our eye to find these Jemmy products from Jemmy Industries. They make animated figures. Little and dancing figures. They're actually pretty collectible. They are. Some of them can resell for a good amount, but they're really fun whether you collect them or resell them. And yeah, thanks to Silas, we always know to keep a lookout now. Oh wait, Jenny, I did want to take a look at that um nativity. What? Oh, oh no. <laughs> your reaction? I thought you found like <laughs> I mean it's cute, it's it cute. It's like olive. Oh, this looks like a vintage Babar. I had one very similar. Yeah. This might be Is like. Taken as well? I don't know. Gund. Gund. It might be worth something, honestly. He's in really good condition. I guess the score bunny. He has $7. Boxes weren't very... The score bunny deck deck. The score bunny deck boxes weren't very popular. But he might be. He's $7. Is he. He's 50% off, though. Oh, I didn't see that. Not just this though, the old... Ah, the jewelry boxes. Oh, look at that. Oh, with these little snap bags. Adorable. Oh my goodness. 
that's like so of the time, right? Look how pretty the colors are. Gosh, three ones. Oh yeah, they're four. Well, this one's two ninety nine. This one's three ninety nine. A little bit bigger. Oh yeah, they are a little bit bigger. I wonder if these have a little bags too. My nails are really dirty from going to those estate sales and just from thrifting. I'm really sorry, but oh, wow. very nice. I like the little pink one. The little bags. What's that, Janine? Where? Down there. The plush on the shelf. Right there. What is he? He's got his tag, his original tag. Honey bunny. <laughs> I don't think he's a puffle up. He's sort of cute though. There's this too. Barbie lunchbox. Wow. What is the bonus in it if you want to help It's ten dollars though. Why? Is it that? I don't think it's that. It's probably worth ten dollars. And yes, it does have the thermos in there. Huh. I'm gonna look up Bad Bar. Just curious. So he's pretty common. He's like a $15 plush. Um, I'm not gonna pick him up, but really fun to see him. Um, okay, I see, I've been meaning to look at that nativity set over here. <laughs> um, Janine actually spotted it. It's $4. Made in Taiwan. So when you're looking for these hand-painted nativities, which... We know a lot about vintage Christmas, but this might be like one of the things that I'm not too knowledgeable on. But I do know that you want to look out for ones when they're hand painted, like chalkware looking like this, that are made in Italy. They're really nice from like the 60s. Um, and they just have great craftsmanship. Like these, you could tell they're not as detailed. The mold isn't as intricate. Um, they're made in Taiwan, but they're, so they're, they're older and they're still nice. They're probably from the 80s, if I had to guess. Made to look like the older stuff from the 60s and 70s, but for $4, it's really not too bad. I found an Annalie, I don't know what this is. It's like a giant alpaca, alpaca pony. It's an Annalie, which, and it's only 99 cents. Oh. Um, and Annalie dolls can have a good resale mm -hmm. if you can get them nice and cheap, mm -hmm. like 99 cents. I don't know if this, so it's like a newer one. I think it's a horse. No, it's not a horse. Oh, look at that fur. Alpaca? I guess so. Llama? Maybe? Llama? I don't know. Something like that. I'm gonna have to look it up. What'd you want to show me? Did you want to Oh, that's really cute. It's only 69 cents. It's blue. It's 25 cents long. <laughs> She'd love that little toy. She would. It's cute. Should I get it for her? I don't know. Yeah, get it for her. I don't know. She'd love it. Our dog loves this. Yeah, things. our little dog loves little tiny chew toys. It's a glow worm. A little baby glow worm. And it's a um, 1985 glow worm. Didn't you sell one of those? No. I thought you sold an older glow worm. Because they can resell. I, 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 that one's so cute. I still have it. Oh, you still have it. <laughs> I thought you were going to resell it. I thought so too. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah, so it's just, just take it out of my hand. What is this? I don't know, it's cute. Oh my goodness, wait, 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 wait. $5. W. Steinbeck. What? Oh, well, I have to look him up. He's the cutest. Sorry, I didn't mean to grab didn't that out of your hand. I he actually had, like, clothes. Because, like, he has this little hat, which is actually his. And then you could take this off and it'd be his regular glow worm self. But this one has, like, clothes on him. He's an original one. My sister had this one. He still makes sound. And it's from 85. That's amazing. He's real cute. He looks like me when I'm He's like... like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks like me after a day of thrifting. I think he's a good find. Sticks. What? Magic sticks? You know, like... Uh, like Magician, the, like... Yeah. Made in Japan. Made in Japan. <gasps> Wait, can I see? So cool. $2.99. Wow. That That's cool. That is so cool. Don't we love that the stuff just ends up at the thrift store? It's amazing. But you know what's so cool about this? This is like Halloween. <laughs> this is like magic. This is so cool. Janine, look what it is. Again? You found another one? This one's not broken. I yeah. think it's a little... And, it, and she's a little... Um, that's what the other one was, huh? Yeah, but she's not as cute. The other one has... Oh, no. 
his little wings. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. Not again. Not again. Oh man. Oh, no, please. <laughs> Look at these fishes. Wow, they're so cute. Yeah, I love the little colorful fish. Me in Korea. But I do need. Oh, we should look at that one. That reminds me of something my mom has. Yeah. Flip it over. No more. Nothing. No more. No more. Isn't this the bag you showed me? Is it the same bag I showed you from the other day? I don't think it no, is. No, it didn't have that name on it. Is it a briar? It looks like one. I can't see. I don't know. Sure. Can't see it well enough. Hmm. The bag is four dollars. It has a mark on the leg. It looks. Wait, it's right there, isn't it? Like, yeah, but I can't see it. Oh, let me see. Um, it just says USA. Oh, it's a briar, I think. Yeah, oh. it's like that circular one. I found my first briar. Okay. Are these them? The ones from the other day. Yeah. Yeah. These are the ones from the other day. Somebody said that they were good. So yeah, somebody had commented on the copper colored ponies, Heartland from the mid century. They're still here. Um, and there are some sold comps, but not for the ones we have here, Janine. So it's pony actually gamble. 25% also be $3 for all of them. It could be a pony gamble if you're interested. And then yes, we also did miss this one the other day and it is a briar. Um, but yeah, lots of ponies here. Pretty cool. Look, Janine. I found more ponies. These are definitely new. New? These weren't here. Oh, I thought you meant they These are new. older, Janine. Camera? 2003, yeah. There's a mark. I think there's Where? a marking. Sometimes the back and? make it so hard. Wait, hold, hold the camera for me. And maybe film. We can. What does that say? What does it say? She's trying to see what it says. What could it say? Oh my gosh, it is like. Uh... Do you see it? <laughs> um, no, I don't it's even like know a where you're looking. Letter, right in that inside thigh. Okay. Look at her, Janine. Um, what's her name? Um, uh, um, Wendy? Jessie. I was gonna say Wendy, it's like Jesse. Wendy. Six dollars. Oh, what? Nice. What? Oh. Like Madam Alexandra, yeah. Interesting. Right? Yeah, they're four dollars each. Huh. Oh you my goodness. It. Completely missed it. We stepped over it, not even realizing. It was probably a carnival to a uh, prize. Oh, it's so cute. But it's so cute. It's orange, which is not on sale, but it's only two dollars. It's so cute. Also, I want to say I completely missed the giant. Um, briars mark right on the stomach of this one. On both of them though? Well, this one on the stomach, yeah, on both of them. They're both briars. I think oh. one of them is an adult pony. Well, uh, just a horse. <laughs> I think the little one's a pony. That like, what does it said? <laughs> it's only $3. I don't know. I'm not the pony person here, so I just Blue is enjoyed looking it up. Off. So, these guys. those guys too. And this little guy. Will it be a pony profit? <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot of cute plush here. There is a lot of plush going on here. What does it your keepings amongst Oh, them? I'm so... I can't. I can't with the... I can for secret keepings, but... No. I'm just... You know, every single time I look for my secret keepings, I never get the keepings. Oh my goodness. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. I've actually been wanting... Oh my goodness, look at them. I don't like the teeth though. The teeth sort of scare me. <laughs> oh, speaking of teeth, that scare me. You want this? Thank mm you. -hmm. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. You helped me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 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 What is this? That's interesting. Oh. So my hands are very full, so I'm not really gonna be able to get a good shot of this, but this, um, I think they're Singamajigs. This one sells for like 18 plus shipping, and it's only $1.99. It's 
blue, so it's 25% off, so I'm gonna pick it up. And um, it seems like the ones that have like two, like one and then a little baby one, sell for a little more than the regular ones, so they may be the ones to look out for. What'd you find? I found hogs. Some hogs. Some hogs, and it has a slammer in there. Nice, Maybe with a camel. With a camel. Yeah, this is like, a, looks like all different locations. We got Minnesota, oh, yeah, New York. North Dakota. Yeah. Cool. Pretty cool. I found that chicken over there. I found this really cool uh, bag of old buttons. Oh, cool. Yeah, some really fun ones in there. Very nice. Yeah. Can I get them? Don't know. Okay. Okay. Just thinking. There was a whole bag of the buttons as well. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw. Huh. Okay. These are harder to find buckets and they're like brand new. I gotta find Janine and see what she thinks of these. We picked up similar ones. Um, I think they have writing on them. Let's see. Yeah, they wrote on them. We might be able to get that off. They'd be 50 cents each. Otherwise, they're in fantastic condition. They have those little rivets on there, which indicates them being a bit older. But because they have a barcode, probably from the 80s. These look good. Yeah, but they're written on. Hmm. But I think with the magic eraser. I think with a little bit of um, rubbing, alcohol? rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Because look how really great nice. condition they're yeah, in. And they're 50% off. Oh, and there's three of them? Yeah. This one's a little broken, though. See the edge? And they're pretty nice. They are pretty they're nice. Pretty they're like um, in really good condition. Yeah, we find these orange. like faded a lot. Yeah. And these are harder to find, I was saying. Huh. Okay, I'll hold on to them. Yeah. Found another ugly doll. Oh, that's a cute one. Yeah. And then I got a little Oscar. <laughs> What is it? Little finger jigglers. What are they called? Little finger jigglers. Finger jigglers? Yeah. Wow. Those are fun. <laughs> Before we dive into the haul, I want to thank everybody who joined us at our live sale at Catherine Young's channel last, I think it was Saturday. We had a ton of fun. We sold a good amount of stuff, but we're not stopping. We have a whatnot sale this Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's a late one. It's going to be a fun time. If you guys are interested, make sure to check out our Instagram links below as well as our whatnot. We'll be selling a bunch of different things, not just holiday. It's going to be a whole mix of fun vintage goodies. So make sure to check out our whatnot if you're interested. But at the thrift stores, the only thing I picked up were the pumpkin pails. These were a fun find. These are older pails. They do have a barcode. So if you find anything with a barcode, it's before the, er or I'm sorry, it's after the early 70s. So this, I would guess, is like an 80s or 90s pail. It still has these metal rivets we talk about when we're out on Pumpkin Patrol. We're always looking for things with these metal rivets because it typically indicates an older pail. Um, it did have some markings on the back. It does. But I pulled out the trusty magic eraser, and we're going to try right now and see if it comes off. So oh wow it is i'm definitely like putting in some you know elbow grease. elbow grease but it's definitely all gonna come off wow this one might be a little bit trickier but no it's all coming off it's gonna look brand new this color is really great and this pill is a little harder to find we might keep one and we might sell one because we definitely have some halloween sales coming up which we're also very excited for i've been picking up these older ugly dolls lately and when i mean older i just mean i guess like pre-ugly doll movie um i don't know exactly when this one is from but i thought it was so cute this one doesn't have its tags i'm probably gonna keep it for myself this is the ugly bot i did pick up i think it was ox not that long ago and it was a big one and he had his tags and i sold him so if you come across any like ugly dolls with their tags look them up because they do sell on ebay i got this little beanie baby knockoff because i had the beanie baby version of this when i was a kid but then i saw this at the thrift store and now i'm thinking i may have had this exact same one it i don't know it it made me like look at it and i instantly felt like no this was the one that i had so now i'm not sure if i had the beanie baby or this one but i had to pick it up um it only ended up being 99 cents so 
cool. Of course I picked up the hat. I love wearing hats and this one was just too cool not to pick up. I mean, look at all that. When do you see, I mean, maybe some people do if they live in uh, Albuquerque, but I don't see a lot of hot air balloon <laughs> hats and this one was just too cool. I got the little Jeffrey giraffe. He's from 1995. He was adorable, but that's not the only stuffed animal that I picked up. I got the glowworm that still works. This one is from 1985, I think. Yeah, 1985. And he sells on eBay for about $20, $25 plus shipping. I will probably have him up. I'm gonna clean him a little bit and then he'll be up on my eBay. Um, I just love that face he makes. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Another stuffed animal that I picked up was the Singamajigs. I think this is the Singamajigs Duet because it has the little little guy on his stomach. And this one still works. Um, and this guy sells, I think I said in the video, for like $18 to $20 plus shipping. And yeah, I got him for $1.99. I think he was 25% off. Bye -bye. Whoa. <laughs> it's pretty interesting because these are from the early to mid 2000s. They're not vintage. I mean, I don't know, actually, they're almost vintage, I guess. I guess. I, I don't know if this one has a year on it. Um, and I can check. 2010. So it's, it's oh, okay. not. But, I mean, it's already 12 years old. But it's amazing that something only 12 years old is collectible. Yeah, and, you know, looking at this, it gives me a lot of, like, um, it gives me a lot of, like, Furby, mm -hmm. um, Popples, um, it's very, it looks like it's gonna be collectible. In my <laughs> opinion, these these to me look like they're gonna be collectible. Um, I guess they, they are already, um, but to me, I think by looking at these, I can already imagine someone collecting these in the future and putting like every single one they had made um, up on a wall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they just, they have the bright colors, they're very unique they're and fun. they're fun, so. I think this is gonna be an item to look out for in the future. A Little bit of Janine predictions. <laughs> so I got this guy and I think he definitely was a carnival prize just by the way he looks. And I think he had a little tag. Hmm. Like he has a string on him and I think he may have had like a little, a little cardboard tag saying mm -hmm. something. Um, there is no tag on him other than that saying who made him or anything like that. Um, so if you know anything about this little guy, or if you have him, I'd love to know. I think he's really cute and he's in pretty great shape. I think he's probably from the 70s. That's what I thought. If I were to guess. He's but in great condition though. Yeah, great condition. He has a little face. And maybe he had, actually I'm looking now, maybe he had a tag right there. You see that, Laura? Uh. Right here? Oh, yep. So, I don't know, but I think he's really cute. I had to get this comic i mean finding casper at the thrift store is not that common for me and i had to get him because he is just too cute and i have a little collection of of uh, casper comics growing so i really like the way that they put them in the little um what are these sleeve little sleeves so maybe i'll do that with my other ones and then i'll put them in a little uh binder and yeah, I think that'll be a lot easier than trying to keep them nice and organized on a shelf. Now, do all of your Casper comics have a barcode? Because I noticed this one has a barcode. Yeah, no, this one is from 1981. So this one has a barcode, but I do have some that are, are older than that and they don't have a barcode. Cool. Yeah. And that's all we got at the thrift store. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate all the support. If you don't mind, we'd love for you to uh, subscribe to the channel and there's a little notification bell. And if you click that, you'll get notified every time we upload. So thanks for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye.